Okay, so I'm doing that group hunt. And man, yesterday was just brutal. It was raining. And there's just thorn bushes everywhere. I was able to squeeze out a thimble, a flat button, both of which are first for me, being from Montana. You got an Indian head penny, a wheat penny, and another button. I'll try to show those. Hopefully I'll get some more footage, but hey, harmonica read. I came back with my small coil today and just kind of working what everybody had already done, so. Look at this swamp, South Carolina. It's everywhere. Um, just some perspective here to see what kind of brush we're working through, metal detecting. This is the easier brush. Uh, yesterday was rough. Got tore up pretty hard by the thistles. Briar. That's what they call it. Barbed wire. Anyway, just kind of a peek. So I just got a plain button that I didn't show you. This has got something on it. I'm not sure what it is. It kind of looks like... It's either like a little coat of arms. Or... Gosh, I guess it could be one of those train buttons, but I don't think so. I think that's like a little crest or something. Just found some sort of relic-y thing. I don't know what that is. So it looks like I got some sort of like suspender button here. I just found another little button that I didn't show you. But anyways, we're just trying to pick through here because you know, about 100 people dug at this spot yesterday. And we're just seeing what's left. Like we're in a little spot no one dug very well well looks like a big old button says towers wire fastened well, looks like a dead armadillo so it looks like a lamp adjuster i think that's the second one of those i found oh man look at that little toy sword how cool is that? It's a nice little relic. Okay, I got this. I don't know what it is. But I think it might be a button. So thin. It's my first one. Okay, so it says Cone's Boss has like a little picture in the center, like a lantern, something. We're gonna research that. We're gonna research that. <laughs> Very cool, it is a button. I think I got a coin in the hole. Oh, yeah. It's like another Indian head. And I found one real close to here just last night. See if I can get a date. Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's the same date as last night, 1899. Boom. Well, that's a weird one. What do you guys think that one is? Okay, some people smarter than me said that's the top to a change purse. Now they said that, yeah, it's pretty obvious. It's totally what it is. It's just one side of a... Okay, I just dug this. It was an eight can't see because I'm blind. It sure looks like a button to me. I'm going to clean it up. I'm not sure what this is, but when I pulled it out, it was like this. But this spout part smashed. I pried it open just a little bit. You can see that it, it was like a poor spout and a lid. Of some sort. Hmm. I don't know if it's old. Pretty cool. No, there's a nice chunk of iron. Look at that sucker. So I got a lantern part. So I have some sort of pendant or tag. I don't know. Maybe it's a token. I'm going to clean it up. 
Okay, I got day three on this uh, South Carolina hunt. And I got something here. Looks like a great big button or something. Let's see if I can. And you guys are all wet too. I don't think that's a button. It's a great big uh, top to a bolt or, or a, it's like a hand forged nail or something. Big one. And now that I got this sucker cleaned up, it's just a huge, crazy button. I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a slight, I think it's a flower pattern on the top. So, awesome. It's got to have some age to it. Well, looks like you got me an old spoon bowl here. Okay, got her all cleaned up. <laughs> That's something. Okay, on the other side of the tree, I got me another spoon bowl. So, definitely found where they like to eat. Big old gnarly axe head. So, I just saw a nugget noggin, and I was showing him my stuff, and he was saying that I should go back to that spot. Unfortunately, <laughs> some guy said we couldn't park there anymore, so. I'm apparently on a hill where he did really good yesterday. And everybody's crowded in here now. Look what I get. Some sort of little button. Well, I can't make anything of it necessarily, but... Looks like there's still a bunch of silver plating on this one. How cool is that? Well, I got another button. I don't think anything's on this one. But I don't got much time left, so I can keep going. Well, <clears throat> definitely on the buttons. And thank goodness I got my sniper coil on, because, you know, this place has just been obliterated. But, I'm getting these little nooks and crannies. In fact, I don't know if you can see, but it's just kind of a little impression right there next to a stick. And I'm sure it's one of the big coil that couldn't really swing there. Well, that is one pretty button. I don't know. Does that mean something to you guys? I'm not a button expert. Man, I got me another little button. Full shank. Pulled another piece of metal out of this hole and then... Boy, it's still ringing. We're really on a button freaking spree all of a sudden. Hey, pulled another little button out of that same hole. <laughs> Man, is there another one? So, I'm getting a high tone out of there. I think we got more. Sure enough, another little button. Man, someone must have lost a whole shirt in this hole. I'm still getting high tones out of that hole. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> it might have just been iron some of that. Oh, dude, I might have done it. I've never got one of these before. Oh, it happened. <laughs> no freaking way. Crazy thing is, this is in somebody's hole. I've never dug a large copper, but I am from Montana, so that's a hard feat there. Well, I've shown my coin to a few people, and they're all kind of thinking it's a KG3 half pence. So, that's awesome. Something I never got before. Unfortunately, this is coming to a wrap. But man, what a great little dig. Try to remember to show you some of the stuff I got the first day, too. Man, I wish I'd recorded that day. I was just in such a bad mood. So rainy and these thistles. Or thorns or whatever the heck they are. Man. It's rough in here. But, getting used to it now. And the sniper is definitely the ticket. 
Now, if I get anything else, I'll uh, let you know, but I'm making my way to the truck, so thanks for watching, guys. Okay, here's the wrap-up from my South Carolina hunt. So this is kind of was an interesting experience for me because I've never dug in a spot like this. So it ended up being like timberland. And so what they were doing is they were knocking all the trees down and then taking a tractor and making berms and then replanting. And in the meantime, all of the briar patches grew up in between them. And so <laughs> it was just nothing like I've ever detected before. I was expecting there to be like some fields or something. No, it was just briar patches in trees and none of the forests really, except for a few small parts, were old growth forests because they come chop them down and then they start over again. <clears throat> so all of the, you know, different home sites and things are just plowed in. So you're just like looking for a brick, you're using your metal detector to try and find iron. And so it took me a couple days to kind of catch on being from Montana. I was not used to anything like that. And the first day was so rainy and terrible. And we just, until the very end of the day, I didn't really get in onto any home site whatsoever. Um, when I finally got onto one though, it was unfortunately late 1800s. And then I did that same area the next day uh, because I was getting things. And so you know, this is kind of what I found at the late 1800s site. And there were some awesome things here. I got my first thimble. I've never got one of those in Montana for some reason. Even all the different home sites I've done. That's my first flat button ever. So that was awesome. <clears throat> uh, somebody did say that they thought this one was fairly old and that it came from a cannon set. And of course I did pull the... The two Indian head pennies, which ended up being 1899, so that kind of helps date it. Uh, this ended up being, it, it says towers wire fastened, and I thought it was some sort of wire fastener, but it turns out to actually be a button, so that's kind of cool. Uh, religious pendant from some cathedral, part of a purse, so that's pretty awesome. Too bad I didn't get the coins with them. So anyways, I woke up the next morning, <clears throat> last day, and I just asked people, I said, look, because I was seeing on the Facebook group that people were getting some reals and some big coppers, things I just can't get in Montana. And so they said, well, it's off in these trees. So I kind of took off and I was following, following what I guess were like old rice patties, um, like little berms. And I could see that people have been digging and there's iron everywhere. And that was part of my problem. I just ended up kind of digging behind other people the entire trip. Like, I get there and it's just been decimated by everybody. Because there's like 200 people at this hunt. And so whenever someone found a good site, people just run in and just plow through it. And, you know, it's hard to get anything after that. So I'm kind of impressed what I was able to get. But one of the things I did do is I switched to my small coil. And then started just kind of trying to stick it where... You know, I figured other people couldn't get to with their coils, and that, that seemed to really work out. <clears throat> but anyways, so the first morning, or that third morning, I was just all by myself. I thought, wow, geez, this isn't, this isn't good. <laughs> no one's here. So once again, well, I just must be in the wrong spot. And anyways, I kind of went down into the swampy area. Once again, where nobody was, and I got this. And... You know, after I've talked to some people and got it all cleaned up and stuff, I mean, this kind of looks like a hand-poured pewter button and looks like it has kind of like a little flower design on there. It's very faint. Like, I can barely see it. I'm sure you guys are just like, what? But anyways, it's kind of funny. At first, I thought it might even just be a nail because I couldn't, you know, some sort of like old bolt or something because I could not see that hole. It was plugged. So anyways, I, I'm starting to get hungry, so I head back to the truck for lunch, and I'm showing this to a guy, and all of a sudden Nugget Noggin, Nugget Noggin walks up, and I'm just like, holy crap, I didn't know he was at this hunt, and so 
he took a look at it and, and this stuff here, which um, this ended up being a rat tail spoon, which is apparently really old. And he was saying he thought that maybe this came out of like a little slave camp. And he's like, you should go back there. And I was like, yeah, well, maybe I will as soon as I get done eating. And then some guy walked up and he's like trying to kick everybody out of there. And there's all this drama and he wants us to move our cars. And I'm just like, great. Well, Nugget Noggin just killed it. He got like a bunch of reals. He got an eight real. <laughs> he got a bunch of, um, you know, large coppers and just buttons and just anything you could want to dig, he got. <laughs> but he had a hard first day too, apparently. He got almost nothing the first day like me. And then the second day, he bumped into an old site before anybody even got there. So <clears throat> anyways, to make a long story short, I had to move my car. And so now I'm just like, great. Now I'm just going to be so far away from this spot. And there's only like three or four hours of the hunt left. But, you know, I kind of was listening to Nugget Noggin and I kind of got an idea of where he might have been. And so I just started walking into the trees from a different angle trying to get there. Like I said, I didn't have that much time left. And I got onto these. And that was awesome because... You know, this is just a lot of cool stuff I can't get at home. And I got the gold gilded button. This one's got silver still on it. But, you know, all these flat buttons are just a little older, you know, than what I can really grab. So that was fantastic. But my goal was I wanted to get a big copper. And I couldn't believe it when it rang out and there it was. And even crazier, in somebody else's hole. So... And this ended up being a KG3 a half penny. And so the dates on those is like 1760 to 1820. So that's just so much older than Montana. I mean, Montana, I think, became a state in 1889. And, you know, there was hardly anybody prior to 1860. So, you know, I mean, the chances of, like, all the, all the successful hunting I've done in Montana and like I only have one seated dime and one shield nickel so um, it's, it's just a lot harder there to get old stuff which is why you see me focusing on gold rings and stuff a lot but I do love this relic stuff it was awesome man I wish I would have had one more day because I just really was finally figuring it out and then it's like hunt over so anyways I'll hopefully get to do a hunt there again next year on vacation back in Montana now. There's snow on the ground. The lake's partially iced over, but I'm going in the water today. So anyways, <laughs> I'm going to go see if I can get some jewelry or something from the last swimming season or if there's just some old coin I missed. But anyways, if you like this video, uh, give me a like and a subscribe and a comment. Appreciate it.